Open the drawing FEA-1 dot DWG in the Chapter 8 folder of the Exercises files. This assembly will be used to perform a finite element analysis, or FEA. The FEA tool is located on the ribbon, Contents tab, Calculation panel. Click it and you're prompted to select an interior point. Click somewhere in the area where the mesh will be placed. The FEA 2D Calculations dialog box is displayed, and now you can add loads and supports. Loads are handled by the two left buttons. Point load and distributed load and the supports are a fixed point. A fixed edge, a point with a single degree of freedom removed, or an edge with a single degree of freedom removed. Start by fixing the left edge of this rectangle. Click Fixed Edge, then select a start point for the support. Pick the top left corner on the drawing. Select an endpoint for the support, the bottom left corner, and then select a point in between the two. This is so Mechanical knows which portion of the curve is going to have the support added. Now add some loads. Start with a single point load. So click the point load command. Attach that to the bottom edge of the circle. Next, you enter a value for the load, so accept the default of 1000 pounds by pressing enter. Specify a rotation angle. And in this case, pull your cursor straight up to indicate 90 degrees. Now click distributed load and apply it along the top edge. Start at the upper right corner, then move left to the midpoint. Click and again specify the point in between the first two so that Mechanical knows that the loading is only on this portion of the curve. Enter a value of 250 pounds per inch length for the amount of distributed load. Back in the FEA 2D calculations dialog, the edit buttons in the load and supports group box allow you to edit the values or angles of your loads, or move or copy the loads or supports to different locations. You can also delete the loads or supports. Next, in the materials group box, you can specify the material properties for the model. You may either enter the values directly into the box, or click table and select an appropriate material for the material database. In this case, select ANSI Material Steel SAE1095 and now its properties are loaded in. Next in the default group box you must enter a thickness. This is a two-dimensional load analysis, but there needs to be a thickness specified for the material for the problem to be solved. Enter a value of 0.25. The two buttons right below thickness calculate the thickness. You can allow the material to deform the thickness direction, or you can maintain the thickness at a specified value. The different choices are reflections of different loading and modeling situations and will affect the results. Once you have the load supports, materials, and thickness to their proper values, you place the mesh and run the analysis. For now, save the file as FEA-2.dwg.